my name is Eugene Joly. I'm a Canadian of Ukrainian descent. I am the president of the Ukrainian World Congress, and on behalf of the Ukrainian World Congress, that represents Ukrainians, uh, the interests of 20 million Ukrainians living outside of Ukraine, uh, including about 7,000 Ukrainians living in the Netherlands. I'd like to congratulate Mr. the director of this film, Evgeny Afinevsky, for the uh, Oscar-nominated feature film Winter on Fire. Winter on Fire captures the dramatic events of December 2013 and beginning of 2014 that will shape uh, the history of Europe. Uh, those dramatic events uh, that occurred at that time enabled the Ukrainian people to attain two fundamental goals. First, to determine once and for all that Ukrainians wish to move forward towards Europe and not backward into a reconstituted Soviet Union. And the second goal is they regained their right to live in dignity in a free democratic country where the respect of fundamental freedoms and human rights is the norm and not the exception. You will see during this film courage, heroism, incredible determination to move forward, and ultimate victory, and that victory was attained in part because many prominent Europeans came during the most difficult moments and backed Ukrainians during that time, gave them strength, gave them courage, and for that we thank them today. So the victory of Euromaidan was an incredible victory for the Ukrainian people. The victory of Euromaidan was an important victory for Europe, and the victory of Euromaidan was perhaps the greatest victory for democracy. And when you watch this film today, I ask you to look at those faces, look at their courage, look at their suffering, look at their determination. Because those people today are part of the governing authorities of Ukraine, and they are part of the elite of the NGOs and civil society, a strong civil society that wants Ukraine to adopt reforms in order for Ukraine to become a fully European country. And on April 6, when the Dutch will determine whether the EU-Ukraine Association Agreement is ultimately ratified, I ask you to hear their call the call of all the protesters, of all the heroes of Euromaidan <clears throat> who are calling out to the Dutch not to minimize their suffering, not to minimize their determination, not to minimize their ultimate victory, and not to minimize the fact that the EU-Ukraine Association Agreement was already signed not to minimize that 28 EU countries have already ratified this agreement. I ask you on April 6 not to stay at home because of people who have hijacked this uh, referendum and are making it on secondary or different issues. I ask you to go out and vote. And I ask you to vote in accordance with your conscience in order to allow a vast territory in Europe to become a fully democratic, modern, European country. So on April 6, I ask you to vote according to your conscience. And I'm convinced that if you do, you will vote yeah.